Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to the Women's World Cup DLC for FIFA 23. And today we're going to be doing a run with the Republic of Ireland. They are a debutant nation and it has been requested quite a fair bit over the last sort of week or so. Someone did tell me to do Australia, but after I just did what I did with New Zealand a few days ago, which if you haven't seen it, it was exceptional. You should go and see it right now or maybe after this video actually. But I'll leave Australia for another time because I think Australia will be a good run because their attack is absolutely insane. So yeah, I decided to do Republic of Ireland today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So our first match is going to be against Australia. And if you're wondering if you're new here or something like that, um, why I don't randomize the groups and stuff like that is because EA still haven't given us the ability to randomize the groups or put in non-qualified teams because I know there are some non-qualified teams on this game that they still haven't featured on this DLC. It's so weird. Even though they released an update just now um, when I logged onto the game saying they patched some stuff about the Women's World Cup DLC. And yet they still have not patched that in. How incredibly lazy is that? I'm sorry, that is just super lazy. I just finished watching the real fixture of this and Australia won 1-0 through a penalty. So Republic of Ireland did do well to hold Australia, but it wasn't quite enough in the end. So hopefully my gameplay will be a little bit better. I only know a couple of players from Republic of Ireland in terms of the women's team. That being uh, Macab and um, there was another one. I can't remember, but she was quite high rated on this one. Go on. Oh, no, she did me. Oh, come on. I went to slide in front of it and instead Australia laid it off. Very, very well done there, Australia. And Sam Kerr has scored to make it 1-0. And I don't think I've seen that celebration before. That must be her signature. But look how smart this was by Australia. I was like, yep, yeah, I'm going to cut the pass out. But instead, they laid it off to Sam Kerr. And she scores to make it one goal to nil. One thing i got to say about Republic of Ireland is I really love the kit they're using. Um, it just reminds me of the old Republic of Ireland kits from the 90s. In the 90s World Cup, the men's ones. You know, the Opal ones or whatever they are. You know, the ones with the sponsors on them. Of course, this one doesn't have a sponsor on them. But it's just the design itself looks like that, if you get what I mean. It just looks so nice and very traditional. And um, I don't know, it kind of also looks like Yeovil's kit this season. This upcoming season. It actually does. So that's another reason why I like it. Uh, here comes Payne, and she scores! That is 1-1. That was very easy to do, wasn't it? And Republic of Ireland have levelled it here. 1-1 now. Level against Australia then. Let's see how we can use that as a building block to try and win this game, perhaps. But we can't let Sam Kerr have another touch of the ball. Crossed in. There's a header. Oh, good save there from the goalkeeper for Australia. Ireland. Doing all right in this first half. I thought I'd actually get walked over in this group. Come on, get in front of her. And that is crossed in. And how did she score that? I thought she was going to let it go out for a corner. But instead, it got crossed in. And then she hit the post and... Ah, oh, what? And Simon has scored to make it 2-1 to Australia. It was a bit of a freak goal, to be fair. Look, I tackled her and it was like bouncing out. Instead, she crossed it in and it went through the legs of the goalkeeper. Off the post as well, might I add as well. Look. Oh, no, it just went through the legs. I thought it hit the post. Oh, that's a through ball and here comes Kerr. No, why is she so quick? Here she goes. Oh, good save. No, get in front of it. Yes. Yes, come on. Now down to number two here. Go for the power shot. Oh, good save by Australia. Maybe I should have just laid it off or something, but it was so tempting to go for the power shot. How does she keep that on? I didn't think that she did. Okay, well, here we go. It's that quick passing. Oh, my God. That was off the top of the bar there. Australia do really mean business, don't they? Tackle her. Shot off the post again from Australia. Final Sam Kerr again. She's so dangerous. Maybe I should have used Australia instead of Republic of Ireland. But I knew that it would be too easy to attack with Australia. Through ball. Pain. 
Payne. Ball roll. And that's a goal. Ball roll OP on this one. And that is 2-2. Thanks to Payne. She has equalised against Australia. And that was a great goal. The ball roll mechanic on this game is so overpowered, isn't it? I mean, I came into the box here with her and ball rolled, gave myself space and smashed it into the bottom corner over the top. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. It's pain. She could do it. She could do it. Oh, that was just too weak, that shot. And it could have been the winner. We should have won that one. The draw against Australia, though, that is very respectable for Republic of Ireland, a debutant nation at this World Cup. So let's roll on the next match against Canada and see if we can get the same result or better. Second match of the group is against Canada. I do love, by the way, I know it's a bit random, but in the background, once the graphic goes away, you can see like pockets of fans in the middle there. So you've got a few Republic of Ireland fans and a few Canadian fans scattered around. And... Um, that just makes it look so more real, if you get what I mean. Because in the middle there, you've got, like, scattered fans. And then on the edges, you've got the home and away fans, which does make sense. Um, so I really hope they can use that feature in future in maybe career mode or something like that. Because that does happen in football matches. So, I mean, that is a mini W for EA. Farrelly out to Shiva. Payne. Go for the strike. Oh, it's just a little bit tame, that one. But that's our first attempt. Got to love scoring long shots on this game, though. It's very satisfying. Good defending is the key in this group. If we can defend well against Canada and Nigeria, I think we give ourselves a chance to go through. Of course, we do need to start winning games as well. Drawing will not be enough. Half time approaching and not much action at all in this first half. Been a bit dry, a lot of tackles and um, not very many shots. Just a lot of interceptions and tackles, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't a great first half. Not like the Australia game, but still, a draw is a draw. And Republic of Ireland are doing well to hold on. Here come Canada. They steal it. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, well, that's 1-0 to Canada. I stole the ball back and then she stole it back. Number six for Canada, Rose. And then the goalkeeper was already in mid-animation and she just scored. So it is what it is on that situation, really. Look, took it away there. Didn't have enough chance to clear it. And then she took it, snatched it, basically scored. Canada into the middle. Oh, wow. That was a great goal by Rose. I thought that she was going to go into the middle. That's why I slide tackled and she just curled it into the top corner instead. 2-0 to Canada, and um, it all now rests on the Nigeria game. See if Canada can get a third, and they have. No defending on that play, really, and that's number three with the goal to make it 3-0. Canada mopped the floor with me pretty much in this match, and it all rests on the Nigeria game. We did try in that match, don't get me wrong, we really did try, but... We didn't take the chances that we did have, the slim chances that we did have. And, of course, we didn't really control the game like I wanted to. So, this is your situation in this group. Um, if we don't beat Nigeria, then we could go out. It's as simple as that. It's either win or go home or still win and Australia win and we still go home. What a harsh situation this is. For Republic of Ireland. And um, I don't think their fate is in their hands. It's all down to whether or not Canada can beat Australia. Head that back into the box. No, that was a complete failure of a header. And now here comes Australia. Oh, come on, man. I can't even catch her. Oh, good save. Nice one. She is dangerous up top. I see they've given her an update because she now has blue hair. In the gameplay I, that I did with her, she didn't even have blue hair. So I guess EA's priorities are, you know, making sure that, you know, she, this, <laughs> the haircuts are all fine rather than letting us randomise the groups. Good pass. And we scored, but it is offside. I saw the flag go up and that's so unlucky, Macab. Oh, we just can't get past defences. I don't know what it is. The game's like, no, you ain't going to get it 
get it this time. Oh, come on. What was that? Again, another half where we can't seem to take our chances. It, this is Ireland's problem, I think. It's that we can't take our chances in the other games. Australia was good, but um, Canada and Nigeria so far have been a different story. Macab, she's going through, good dribbling, and what a goal that was! And it's 1 0 against Nigeria. Fantastic by Macab. Amazing bit of dribbling and great finish as well. It was cool, calm, composed, and the Republic of Ireland have taken the lead. Now we've given ourselves a chance to actually maybe go through, as long as Australia aren't winning. Good strike as well. Really, really nice finish into the box. Just dealt with very well by Ireland. And that was a foul, perhaps, by Nigeria. I don't really know. They go for it. It's blocked. And again, oh, that was close from Ashola. Through ball. How did that go all the way through? And another save by the Nigerian goalkeeper. How many times have we missed these chances? I, I'm telling you right now. If we took our chances, we would have won this game by more goals. Rubal, Macab, no stamina really. Is there a chance here? No, I tried to pass it. I should have just shot. I should have just absolutely just smashed it. But we won 1-0 against Nigeria. A grindy game. Even though we had tons of shots in the second half, we only mustered one goal. And that's just not good enough really if you want to go through. But... But we could have still gone through if Australia lost. Let's hope that happened. I don't know if it has because Australia are a good team. But so are Canada as well. So, um, yeah, Australia, uh, I believe they drew or won. I think... I think, I think it was a draw because Canada have seven points, yeah. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this mini run with Republic of Ireland. I know that we didn't score many goals really and do much in this one. But when you're in a situation and a group like this, it's quite tough, especially as a debutant nation. But anyway, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.